Hello friends, in this session we are going to take up some computer networks, gate numericals and a very important question, a very important topic when uh, dealing with computer network questions is congestion control. So in this session we are going to take up a question from TCP congestion control topic. So let's see what the question says. It says consider an instance of TCP's addictive increase. TCP's addictive increase, multiplicative decrease. So hope you have already studied this concept. It is a very important concept. Additive increase, multiplicative decrease. Algorithm, if you do not know this, you will get some basic idea when I solve this numerical, which is required, the basic understanding which is required when solving this numerical. Okay, where the window size at the start of the slow start phase is this thing. It is 2 MSS, which is so which is maximum segment size, and the threshold at the start of first transmission is, is 8 MSS. So the threshold when you start with, with the first transmission is 8 maximum segment size. Assume that a timeout occurs during the fifth transmission. Okay, find the congestion window size at the end of the tenth trans transmission. So the question might look complex, but it is a very simple question. When you start solving, you'll get an idea of it. Now, let's just write down all the things which are given to us first. So it is given that window size at the start is 2 MSS. I'm going to refer it to as MSS only. Okay. Now the threshold is 8 MSS, timeout occurs at 5th transmission, window size at the end of 10th transmission is what is uh, required to be found. Okay, now the concept over here is what? In this algorithm, TCP's addictive increase multiplicative decrease algorithm, what happens is when you are transmitting you actually transmit in the, you say, uh, powers of, powers of 2 multiplied with the, what, maximum segment size. So, if you see the first transmission was 2 MSS because it is given as in the question. So, this is just as it is given in the question. Window size at the first transmission is 2 MSS. In the second transmission, what do you do is you multiply it with 2 or you say you increase the power by 1. So, this is 2 to power 1. This is 2 to power 2. This is 2 to power 3. So, this is what I mean when I say in the powers of 2. Okay. So, now in this what is happening is either you can say you are multiplying it by 2. That may, I think it might appear much simpler to you. So, you just keep on multiplying uh, the window size with 2. Okay. You keep on multiplying it with 2 until what? Until and unless you reach the threshold. Once you reach the threshold, then what do you do? Then you start incrementing it linearly. Okay. Then you start incrementing it linearly. So, Let's uh, check it once again. Window size at the first transmission is 2 MSS. At the second, you multiply it by 2, you get 4 MSS. At the third, you multiply it by 2, you get 8 MSS. Threshold is reached. Now, we'll increment it linearly. So, window size at fourth transmission is 8 plus 1, 9. Window size at fifth transmission is 9 plus 1, 10. It's given that... Uh, the timeout occurs at fifth transmission. So that means now the timeout has occurred. Whenever the timeout gets occurred, what do you do? You find out a new threshold and you uh, change the window size to 2 MSS again to the smallest window size given to you. So that means uh, the window size at the start was given to us as 2 MSS. If it was not given, I would have changed it to 1 MSS. Okay, so since, since it was given to us as 2 MSS, I would change it to 2 MSS again. Okay, now window size at 6th transmission is 2 MSS. New threshold is what? 
new threshold will be whatever the window size is over here you divide it by 2 so it becomes 5 MSS okay now again we start the counting in the same manner window size at 6th transmission is 2 MSS at 7th again it will get multiplied by 2 it will become 4 MSS now then before proceeding to 8th transmission we know that when we uh, perform the same thing it now when we multiply it by 2 it will become 8 and the threshold is 5 so never ever can the window size be more than the threshold so that means the threshold has already been reached over here since the threshold is reached what will we do we'll start incrementing it linearly now okay so the window size at 8th transmission will be 5, 5 MSS at 9th it will be 6 at 10th it will be 7 and what did we require we were told to find out the window size at the end of 10th transmission so the window size at the end of 10th transmission is 7 MSS so out of the options we have the answer as C part that's all for this particular question I am going to see you all with some more important questions from the same topic of congestion and other important topics of gate so till then stay tuned and keep working hard for your gate preparation thank you guys